So the other day I had myself an epiphany. I was running some regular BGs with a group of friends, and we queued up for randoms and ended up in Deepwind Gorge. Within a minute or two we got into Deepwind Gorge and it was clear that things were not going so well for the Horde. We were losing bases, nobody stayed to defend anything. Pretty dysfunctional. But I noticed that upon log coming into the battleground, I had a lead for of the group, which sometimes happens. In game, I started using the raid warning uh, utility to spam across everyone's screen where to go. I basically pointed out, watching people on the map, like I do in, in raided BGs, I uh, would decide we, we're going to go for north, we're going to go for south, we're going to keep mid, we're going to run cards, we're going to give them a base. But whatever I decided, I would type it out in Raid Warning. I was playing on an alt, I wasn't necessarily contributing a lot of heals or DPS. But by doing that, I noticed something. People actually did what I told them to do. Now, I've done this before, uh, a long time ago, and this is probably the, one of the few times that I've, I remember it working out. Because looking at the map, looking at where people went, I would say, we're going to hold top and we're going to uh, hold mid and run carts. Give them everything else. I typed that out and people actually did it. And doing so, we managed to actually pull out and win the game for the Horde. It was a great victory, great game. Pretty close game too, because the other team, the Alliance, was actually out DPSing us, uh, out doing us in numbers. But people managed to actually follow a strat that was typed out in Raid Warning. Now this got me thinking. This is a lot like when we go into Ashran. Now say what you like about Ashran. I'm not a big fan of it myself. But one thing that I think Ashran teaches us to, to do is to appreciate the value of a good leader. Anytime you go into an Ashran instance, you ever notice that people, uh, the first thing they ask is, is there some, are we winning? <laughs> or, or what they're really asking is, do we have a solid leader? And are we, do we have the numbers to be able to pull stuff off? Generally what happens in Ashran is you get put into a group automatically because pre-made Ashrans just became sort of a necessity after a while. And if somebody isn't standing up and taking charge through the raid warning utility, spamming across everyone's utility or everyone's uh, screen, hey, we're going to the bonfires event or we're going to AQ, or Molten Core, or we're going to fight on the road, or whatever. Uh, if there's no leader of that group taking charge and deciding what's going to be the priority, then there's really no chance that you end up getting anything done in that instance. Uh, so that's something that people have gotten used to. It used to be that whoever, if you were spamming in raid warning you got you got chewed out by someone and sometimes in ashran the leader still gets chewed out a little bit there's always somebody in chat saying why is this person spamming messages across my screen why can't i just play by myself you, you can't get away from those people it's the in internet they're always going to be there but more often than not lately it seems people who stand up as leaders within PvP are becoming more and more appreciated and there's people ready to follow. I just wanted to share that story with you because if you're thinking about becoming a leader and you're unsure of yourself, know that we all started at, at some point. Some of us were good at being a leader in the first place. Some of us knew the strats in the first place. Some people didn't know anything in the first place, but you standing up and just saying, I'm going to take charge. I'm probably gonna mess up once in a while. It happens but you're going to be uh, a singular type person and you're going to be valued and you're going to, you're going to be sought after because if you, uh, when you do get good, there aren't a lot of people that are willing to be leaders in PVP in any game. This goes not just for WoW, but Wildstar, uh, any other MMO, any kind of team game where somebody needs to stand up and say, we're going this way. Everybody follow. There are people ready to follow. And if you're one of the people who is willing to be a leader, try it. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me this week for another episode of PvP Leadership. You might have noticed a few changes to my channel lately. When I first started out, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with this channel. But now after a few videos and a lot of soul searching, I think I've settled on a, on a direction. I hopefully have conveyed to you that I really value a good leader within a game of any type. 
and I really want to continue to help people to become better leaders. I'm going to continue doing WoW PvP sort of videos just as my context to talk about leadership. But what I have to say about leadership, I think, can be carried to over to other games or even to PvE. If you know anyone that's considering starting up as a raid leader, uh, as a, an RBG leader, a strat caller, or even a guild leader, I want to encourage you to share this video or my channel with those people, with those individuals. That really helps me as a person to feel motivated to do more videos. It helps the channel to grow. And I hope to be able to help, to help your friends or your, your acquaintances become better gamers and better leaders within the game so that everybody can benefit. Thanks for joining me this week, and I'll see you next week with another video.